Whether you're a clerk or a waiter, an accountant or a doctor, your health matters. Hello viewers, welcome to Your Health Matters. I'm Dr. Tasila Tembo Peters. Today, we continue looking at the importance of vaccination. This time, we look at the HPV vaccination or human papilloma virus vaccination. Our expert of the day is Dr. Francis Mwansa. He is going to elaborate more about the importance of HPV vaccination. To start the program, we got public views of what they thought HPV vaccination was. And here is what they had to say. I just said that what at the school, some groups came to teach to taught us about that. Uh, well, cervical cancer is just the cancer that affects the cervix in the women, and it is caused by the human papilloma virus. I don't know much, but just from the name, I can tell that it's something to do with the cervix of females. I've heard about it, but. Not really in detail. I haven't heard about it, but maybe it can be prevented by avoid, avoiding too much sex. Virus is more than HPV, human papilloma virus, mostly ailing. The good doctors from 1st January to 31st December, they diagnose up to 1,850 cases of cervical cancer every year in Zambia. These are statistics you also can get from the Cancer Disease Hospital. The unfortunate part is that um, most of them are diagnosed late. So about 1,320 every year die. So out of 1,850, 1,320 die, regardless of what we do. So this disease, cervical cancer, which is taking our women, is the reason why the HPV vaccine exists. HPV is a virus that um, is directly linked to the development of cervical cancer. Now there's one problem with cervical cancer, uh, that in the early stages it does not show any symptoms. And that is why the government in between has instituted mechanisms that are meant to, you know, for people to know whether they have it or not. Women are advised to do, you know, pap smears, screening at regular intervals. So that should it happen that they are found to have, uh, you know, cancer developing, there is intervention. Now, HPV vaccination has been going on in the world for over 25 years. It's a proven intervention, something everyone in the science world agrees that it prevents uh, most of the cancers. Of course, not all the cancers, over 90% of the cancers. Just about every, every woman is um, susceptible, but the level of susceptibility differs because the way HPV is transmitted is through skin contact. And so any woman um, who has sexual activity is at risk of having HPV. And I should mention, so therefore the vaccine which is meant to prevent someone from having HPV may not work in someone who already has HPV. So we target those that have not yet gotten involved in um, sexual activities. So, so the WHO recommendation is actually um, the, the, the children from the age of nine years of age to 13 years of age. Uh, ideally, all resources available would have loved to pick everyone from nine years to 13 years of age, but I think we have to be realistic. So we only picked those who are uh, aged 10 years of age, and specifically we picked on those who are in grade four, because often people start school when they are six years, so they will be uh, in grade four when they are 10 years old. So those are the ones we target. Of course, on the assumption, and often we are correct, that those are not engaged in sexual activities. Of course, isolated cases may exist where a 10-year-old is involved in sexual activities and they already have HPV. In them, the vaccine may not work. But for those out of school, we are looking for those who are 10-year-old 
10 years old. So in school, grade fours. So uh, the criteria is just is a sweeping criteria for those in school. So a 15 year old can be in grade four and they could be sexually active. But we are not picking, we are just giving all of them. We don't want to uh, start you know, discriminating and the others would not say that one has been excluded because he's sexually active. We just, it's a sweeping one. And HPV vaccination has been going on for over 25 years. And um, what, what we are doing is, is, is not testing or something like that. Um, it's, it's something that other countries have done already. What we have is a very well tested product. In fact, more pure than probably when the other countries started. That is a product that has been subject to so many tests across the world, uh, a program that has been studied over a, a, you know, a period of time, it is extremely safe. But whenever anything new comes, of course, uh, people are at liberty to you know, question. People should not just accept everything. Um, but even for us as, as, as government um, uh, agencies to accept, we had to ask a number of questions and verify a number of things to say really uh, this, 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 these are safe. So the HPV vaccine is administered um, that we can either give it as a three dose, meaning if I give it to them, I can repeat a dose after two months and then I repeat a dose after four months from the second one, meaning at zero months at the beginning, two months, then six months from the first one. And it is given as an injection into the muscle. Now there's a particular muscle that we have to put the HPV in just in case the child is given today, they forget the name of the vaccine, 20 years later they will still remember to say I was given a vaccine here. So, so it's injected in the muscle and the body uh, absorbs it, picks it up and it starts developing defense against the uh, HPV. So when we do the nation rollout as at the beginning of 2017, when we start giving throughout the country to prevent a lot of girls from later developing cancer of the cervix later, we just have to give them one today. Then six months, late, six months later they come back and then we give them a, a second one. So we'll move to a two dose now. So to the Zambian women, um, uh, I'm a parent like you. I'm a brother to a sister like probably some of them watching. And I'm also a relative to some of the women that have died of this deadly disease called cancer of the cervix. Our children have an opportunity to receive a vaccine, a very effective vaccine, a very safe vaccine, I have to emphasize. It is extremely safe. And this vaccine is meant to protect them from having cervical cancer in the future. Those numbers we are talking about, 1,850 every year. Of those, 1,320 die. It can be anybody's sister, anybody's child, anybody's mother. We want to reduce those numbers. So please have your children immunized against HPV so that in future they stand little risk or no risk at all of developing cervical cancer because cervical cancer is a silent killer. It will only show up once the disease has advanced. Indeed, prevention is better than cure. We encourage you to ensure that those eligible for HPV vaccination have the vaccination done. This has been Your Health Matters, and I'm Dr. Tasida Tembo Peters, as usual, saying, stay healthy. It matters, it matters, your health, your health matters. Whether you're a student or a mother, a lawyer